morning guys it is thursday and it is the start of third year lectures i have a feeling it's gonna be quite cold today as well i haven't checked the weather but it just looks kind of gray and cold in the uk i'm just gonna get ready and i'm heading out to my first lecture i have two today one at 9 a.m and one at 5 p.m i have evening lectures this year which is new and then this is my outfit of today. I've just got these new yoga leggings on with my running trainers. This was actually one of my outfits in my uni outfit kind of haul. Feeling a bit sporty today. I'm just gonna shove on my jacket as well. Cause it's gonna be chilly. Yeah. Okay, I need my bag. Keys in here, phone. Drink more hot lemon. A water bottle, folder with plain paper in it. All I need. Pencil gear. Do I need my diary? Let's just check. 9 to 10 lecture. Right. First lecture of third year, guys. Hopefully it's going to warm up today because it's nippy. <laughs> And we're back. We started with a lecture from our course called Cancer and Genetic Disease. So I'm going to be calling it CGD. It was a good lecture. It was just kind of introductory to cells and morphology, cell shape, cytoskeleton. I like all that stuff. Pathology is my major subject this year and within my major subject I've chosen two modules so we could have picked cancer and genetic disease, immunology, virology, parasitology and what was the other one? I'm not sure what the other one was. There were five to pick and you had to pick two. So I picked CGD and the other one was immunology. And then obviously because I'm now doing BBS, biological and biomedical sciences, I'm doing a dissertation and you also do a minor with that instead of doing a whole project. Is Dad going to answer? Why are you not answering, Dad? Let's plait my hair. I love a bit of order organisation. Hey dad. Oh my darling. Look at this huge granny smith. That is not a granny smith apple. This is one very big pink lady apple. Ugh. Let's do a bit of UCAS. Get this finally sent off. Are we ready to click send? E three, two, one. Is it sent? Oh. oh, I just submitted my application. I did my UCAS and my extra Cambridge form. I've had my lunch and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna edit my video for today. So it's the room tour video that I'm editing right now and it's Thursday, so I kind of wanna get it up today. So yeah, a little editing sesh. It's 2.30, so I need to put my headphones in and sort out the music and audio levels. And then I've got some other bits I need to do on my to-do list. Right. Hello. Hey, hello. Call I'll you back. I'll put you back on my phone. I just called you. I'll oh, oh okay, okay, cool. Okay, bye. Bye. 
Oh yeah, I like that green, yeah. Okay, do you want to I'm say hi to the vlog? Oh, I'm in the vlog! Do you want to say hi? So I have just been on FaceTime with my sister. Emily's got a day off work, so she's at home. And then we're having like a business meeting about Nana, which is essentially us just trying to work out what's happening because we're on different computers. It's quite hard when we're on FaceTime and we're just laughing, but we're trying to do stuff because we're working on the next launch for Nana and stuff. I have a lecture at five. It's currently like half four-ish. Then when I get back from my lecture, I'm going to show you guys my new stationery and all that jazz, do a little stationery haul. I said to you guys that I would do that and you were very keen. Guys, that was such a rush. I blame Emily. I've locked myself out already. Nice one, Holly. I have to go to the porters and get keys because I left them in my room and I said I was not going to do it this year and I've already done it. Okay, this is not even funny. So I've already locked myself out. I had to come back after my lecture. Immunology, kind of an introductory one, kind of broad very broad like all this wider reading stuff third year you know anyway um yeah so i locked myself out i ran out the door because i was running late i was on the phone to emily so i do blame emily for this one okay but somebody has to keep a tally this year i said in my vlog my moving in vlog the other day i was like i'm not gonna lock myself out this year i didn't touch wood that was it i didn't touch wood so I've already done it once. So if someone's gonna keep a tally of how many times Holly locks herself out this year, then feel free. Okay, so as I promised, I was gonna do a stationary haul in this video. My video went live when I was in the lecture, so I got back. I've just been replying to a few comments, but then I was like, the lighting's gonna go soon. So most of my stationery is on my desk and on the shelving unit just there and, and in these drawers. This is my shelving unit above my desk here and then i've got my stuff charging all at the moment over there but anyway let's just start here going through all my stationery i don't actually own that much stationery and each year i don't tend to buy a lot of things new unless it's folders or pens i did need this year because i normally have stuff that i can still use like hole punches staplers but i own everything that i kind of need so on the edge of my desk i have this set of I don't know, I call them my like to-do list things. They're not sticky notes because they're not sticky, but they're just little post-it things. This is what I write all of my to-do lists on. I think I got this from Wilkinson's probably, but you can get it from a variety of different places. You can get these pads from anywhere essentially. They are really useful and I love them for my to-do list because you guys know how much I love those. This is my diary and I got this from TK Maxx. So you probably won't find this exact diary still in TK Maxx because it's one of those shops that brings in things and then they go very quickly or they only have like a few of them. If you're looking for quite a nice unique Tumblr looking diary, I recommend going to TK Maxx they usually have a lot I got this pen free from an event or something that I went to now this is my pencil case which I take with me on a day-to-day -day basis I don't tend to take a big pencil case with me because it's just unnecessary and then I have general stuff in here which I'm going to go through in a minute when I go through the pens that I'm using at the moment but yeah that's my daily use pencil case anyway then on my shelves I have three big ring binder folders and they're made out of this brown cardboard I like the brown and the black ones I used to get really bright colored folders when i was in school doing gcse's but now i prefer this minimalist look these are my folders with my old oh hello we're now playing dominoes stand up please this is from last year with last year's work in i think these folders are either from wilkinson's or asda it's usually where i get my ring binders from they don't have any dividers in at the moment but if you're looking for like a folder organization video i do have one of those on my channel so i will link that somewhere and then this year i bought these ones new as you can see these were actually from wilkinson's lever arch files i think they were two pounds and i went for black ones this year so i might need more might not need all three but we'll see how we go this is sellotape and then it's on a roller thing which i find really useful because otherwise i spend about 10 minutes trying to find the edge i really don't know where this is from textbook there and then i have some smaller folders so this was one that we were given in first year or something when we started one course i think cells so i didn't buy that one but these three oh gosh i don't even know where these are from but they're black again and i just use these 
for taking my work in when I go to lectures. So instead of carrying massive ring binders, I take these smaller ones and then I just transfer it every now and then into bigger ones. But yeah, you can find them anywhere, these ones. Then the rest of my stationery is in these three top drawers. Okay, this top drawer, what do I have? I have two calculators and they're both like university approved. They're just a Casio scientific calculator. Oh, I'm trying to open it. These are my Diedler. When I mentioned these in my note taking video, I called them Stabilo pens and I still call them Stabilo pens, even though they're not Stabilo pens, they're actually Stadler or Stadler. I don't know how you say that, but anyway, and I think they're really great fine liners. I especially like this kind of contraption thing that they come in. Those pens are great. I've had them for a while now. They've lasted a long time, so I highly recommend. I think I got them from WH Smith probably. Then I just have a hole punch and a stapler. Don't know where I picked them up but you can get them anywhere. Like most of the stationery I'm showing you. This book, this is my YouTube bible essentially. It's what I use to kind of plan my videos and what I'm doing on YouTube. But it actually is interesting because it has white lines instead of black lines. So it's called a white lines pad actually. Haha, ha, surprise. I was actually sent this so I don't know where you can get it from. But if you google white lines I assume it's like a brand this is my giant kind of storage pencil case which i just store everything that i don't take with me on a day-to-day -day basis or use on a day basis this pencil case i think i got it from wh smith's a while back i've got some scissors these pens are pens that i'm not gonna throw away because they still work however they are old big pens which i no longer use and these ones i got last year for my exams last minute so yeah i just keep them because i'm not going to throw them out it's just a waste but i don't tend to use them at the moment i have a highlighter which should be in the main section of this pencil case because i don't really use highlighters as you guys know and i have some ink erasers although i don't really use ink erasers anymore because i don't write with a fountain pen fun fact though when i was in school and stuff i always used to write with a fountain pen also in this pencil case which is actually falling apart we've got a what is this a compass protractor foldable ruler a broken foldable ruler how many rulers do i want to have well this one's cute it's got puppy paws on it i then have this massive ruler that has my name on it which i got ages and ages ago like when i was a child so that goes back a long time then in the main section oh dear what's in here parker ink which i don't use anymore because i don't use a fountain pen but here is my fountain pen which i used to use i got a white one last time but I like to keep it because I do like fountain pens. Some old Tipex, which I don't really use, but it's probably gonna run out soon. I don't use highlighters at all anymore, but they're still in my pencil case because they haven't run out. I want a pink one. Oh, random stuff in here. Random Sharpie, that was from Freshers Week. Some more ink erasers, pencils, random pen. Oh, some mechanical pencils. I don't know where they came from. Another ink eraser, another random pencil, and another random pen. Oh, and I have some staples oh what's this this is actually my little magnifier thing folding magnifier that i had to buy for first year earth sciences to look up rocks i never actually used it to be fair though because i could never really see through it i just never got my eye like we're out to these rocks i have a clear pencil case which i use when it comes to exams what's inside my little pencil case and to my new pens which i've actually been using today you will have seen in the video so the reason why i've stopped using big pens is because apparently it's a company they test on animals and as a vegan i want to try and avoid buying from companies that do that sort of thing i don't want to buy big anymore because I know that for certain that they test on animals. I kept the packaging yesterday when I opened them because I wanted to show you guys. Zebra Biros ballpoint classic pens and papermate ones. And these two companies don't test on animals. I have done my research. I got both these from Asda. So the Zebra ones, I think it's really good actually. I was using it today, made my notes, this lecture. My notes came out really neat, even though I was writing really quickly. So I was impressed with the Zebra pens. So far, I'm gonna see how long they last um, and all that stuff, but at the moment, I think they're good. I also got Papermate ones because I wanted a pack that had a blue, a red, and a green in because they're the colors that I always use in my notes. So, this pack was ideal because it had all those colors and black, and so I put one of each of those in my pencil case, and again. These are really good so far. Um, they came actually with these really tiny tips on. So when I first started to write, nothing was coming out and then I realized it had something on the top. So if you guys are looking for pens, you're looking for ballpoint or biros, then all I can say is don't buy from Bic. 
Then in my little pants case, I have the other half to the broken Rudolph. A rubber, little sharpener, and two pencils. This drawer has in it, oh gosh, it's all sliding everywhere. It has some flashcards from last year, and I think some of these flashcards haven't been written in. But anyway, these flashcards were from Wilkinson's. These ones were bought, oh, from WH Smith's, I think, these tiny ones. They are a bit too small, to be fair, but they are quite good for just very quick fire facts and information that you want to learn files i've been using for ages more files this kind of popper file is ripped and quite broken now but in it i have some homemade flashcards homemade lol more like file foldery things that you can just fit a few sheets of paper in and i think all those came from wh smith's this is the folder that has been going for ages look i mean somebody decorated this it was either myself or emily when we were really young with we like ballerina stickers this isn't really stationary except like pink tack stuff i use to kind of decorate your room and it's just a bit random but hey then the final drawer is this one so i have in it some lined paper not that i use lined paper that often but it is a pucker refill pad fabulous white plain paper this is just printer paper from wilkinson's so i was going to look into trying and getting some 100 percent recycled printer paper to use because i thought yes that would be more eco-friendly and stuff but i left it too late to really do my research and find some that was like quite reasonably priced and that is pretty much all my stationery so yeah the shops i tend to go for with stationery are probably wilkinson's is really good great value asda your general supermarkets can't go wrong wh smiths can be good it can be on the pricier side i'd say and the same goes for Ryman's. Also, it's worth noting, when I'm sitting here looking at these folders, I always wonder why this one didn't come with a sticker on and the other two did. Like, I didn't take one off and leave the other two on, that would just be silly. But yeah, I don't know why Wilkinson's did that. And I don't know whether to take those labels off or if they're gonna leave a sticky mark. It's always the big dilemma. So I've got my microwave chips over there. They've just come out. The microwave and i've got an avocado here and i have a feeling this is going to be like the perfect avocado it just feels right you know you better live up to expectation <gasps> oh that's a good one. Oh my gosh that's so good look how good that is per well that was easy to pop the stone out perfect avocado microwave chips are like my staple uni meal i always go on about my microwave chips if you're new to my channel and you would like to know then comment down below and then like that comment and i can show you and what i eat in a day or something don't need an oven it's so quick and they go perfectly with avocado i don't want to get my draining spoon out face washing out so we have the finished plate here a load of chips sauerkraut here loads of veg and then my avocado here so very nice colorful plate full of plants i am probably gonna end this video now because i'm going to bed well i need to make tomorrow's to-do list and that's my day really i hope you enjoyed it if you did please hit that thumbs up subscribe if you're new like comment all that jazz and stay updated on the socials i always post on my instagram story bye guys i'll speak to you in another video